Hey, this is Tommy with Outrider USA. We're just north of Hendersonville, North Carolina today. We have the Functional Horizon prototype out here, and we're going to do some low and high range testing. Low range is specifically for steep and technical off-road terrain, while high range is for cruising and touring at higher speeds. We're going to be testing three things today. First, we're going to look at low range performance, starting from a stop on a steep hill. Next, we're going to move into high range testing. We'll be looking at the handling, the drive system performance, and the braking at high speed. Then last, we're going to show you the differences between low range and high range and making that transition for different types of terrain. Okay, so we've got the horizon on a 12 degree hill. We're going to do some low range testing and try to start from a complete stop. Alright, so we just finished the low range testing starting from a complete stop on a hill. Uh, this hill behind us was 12 degrees where we started. First I did the test purely under electric power and then the second time around we did it with electric and pedal power combined. Uh, under both tests it was able to start from a stop on a 12 degree hill. It increased up to about 15 degrees and at that point we started getting a lot of wheel spin because we were starting from low speed. And uh, so two things that would help with that. One is a knobbier tire with sharper knobs. This one has a lot of wear on it at this point. It's pretty rounded off. And the second thing is we're going to go to a stiffer belt compound to try that. And that should eliminate any belt skip that we're getting. All right, now we're going to move into high range testing. We're going to look at the suspension performance, the braking, the steering, and the drive system. So we're going to head out to some more open roads where we can get a little bit of speed and we'll see how it goes. Alright, you just saw a little bit of our high range testing. The suspension does a great job of taking out the bumps and the vibrations from the road, so I'm really happy with how that felt. The brakes, uh, they're cable actuated hydraulics and they just stop on a dime, they're super powerful. Um, the steering, steering felt good at speed, but at low speed we actually found that we need a bit tighter turning circle on it, so we're going to tighten up that steering a bit. Um, and then lastly, the drive. In high range, the drive has plenty of power, it's really smooth, um, and shifting from low to high range uh, works well. It could stand to be a bit quicker, so we're going to speed up the shifting time as well. Alright, so you just saw a little intro to low range and high range testing. Lastly, we're going to show you the transition between low and high range. To shift between low and high, there's a push button on the end of the handlebar. You simply push that button. Low is indicated by blue, and high is indicated by green. An easy way to remember that is blue is low and green means go. So last we're going to head down this road. There's a paved section of road here. We're going to come down in high and then we're going to enter into the woods and we'll shift into low range and you'll get to see that transition. That wraps up the day for high and low range testing. 
really happy with how everything went today. Uh, we'll be checking back soon with more testing videos. Until then, uh, please just ask us any questions if you have them in the comments section. We'll either just answer them there or we'll make a new video focused around that question. Thanks.